Hey guys, I am Game Advisor, and welcome back to another Icarus video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to power level your alts. Now, you can use some of these things for yourself if you are a new player to the game, but this video is specifically intended for alt leveling. That means it's not your first time playing through the game. However, if you do wanna see how to level your first time playing through, we do also have a video on our channel for that, just called Leveling Guide. With all that being said, let's get started. Let's start out by talking about some of the exotics that we recommend for leveling your alts. If you didn't already know, you can use the exotics on your main character on your alt if you so desire, rather than crafting a full new set. All you need to do is simply unequip the exotics on your main and re-equip the exotics on your alt, just like you're seeing us do in the video. It's really not that complicated, just move them into storage and then pull them out back onto your alt. We recommend that you bring a knife and a bow or pick, depending on which way you're planning on leveling, a water container, the full exotic armor set, and then the last two slots are really up to you. I recommend that you either bring the green or red backpack, and that you also bring the oxygen canister if you're going to use the long-term leveling method. Otherwise, these are totally up to you at the end of the day. These are just my personal preferences. Once you have your exotic set up and you're ready, you will have two different ways of leveling in two different locations. The first way you can level is long-term leveling. This is for alts who you want to get all the way to level 40 or above in most cases. The way this works is rather than simply grinding XP via killing animals and farming trees, you're going to be focused initially on setting up a small base until you reach level 20. At this point, you'll be able to craft a kitchen bench in tier 3, which unlocks a few XP increasing recipes. These are things like bread, pies, and pumpkin bread, all of which give you anywhere from 10 to 15% of an XP gain. Since we can have three buffs up at a time, and even more depending on which talents we take, that'll give us a minimum of 35% XP increase if we're using pumpkin bread as one of the XP gains. After you've got the buffs, simply go back to chopping trees and farming animals for XP. Option two for leveling is intended for characters that you only need to get to level 30 or less. This is because it's more time efficient to simply grind XP right away than it is to spend the time that it takes to build yourself a structure for you to work out of. For option two, all you need to do is simply drop in, get arrows, and craft a bow if necessary, then start killing as many hostile enemies as you possibly can find. This is because the XP from a hostile enemy is three to five times more XP than what you get from a non-hostile enemy. Make sure to also not forget to skin each animal as that will give you some extra bonus XP. Just to point this out, wolves, cougars, Mammoths, elephants, all of those qualify as hostile animals. Anything that will generally attack you, I know technically elephants won't attack you when you get nearby if you don't piss them off, but in general, if it will attack you when you get near it, it's a hostile enemy. The two locations that you can choose between are the first desert biome and the arctic biome. This is because the arctic biome has significantly more hostile animals in it that are easy to one shot with your bow if you just have some bone arrows and maybe just the exotic bow or even just a regular wood bow. Each wolf in the arctic biome will net you somewhere between two to 4,000 XP, depending on what level they are. If you need extra protection, do not be afraid to set up a small hunting cabin with diagonal beams as its support, as this will keep them from actually breaking it down while you sit up inside and keep shooting at them. This is certainly not required, but it is a very valid option if it's something you want to do. I will note there is a lot of wolves, so this method is specifically good if you have two or more players trying to level. The desert biome is great when you're struggling with the arctic biome, as it has less tightly packed hostile enemies. Here you will get 1.5 to 3.5k XP per kill, which is a little bit less, but that's okay. The only downside here is of course your XP per hour is going to be lower since the animals give you a little bit less and they're further apart. Now it's worth noting that any mission that takes place in these biomes is a perfectly viable option. However, there are two insured biomes which last 30 days so you will have more time to grind your XP. These are the Sandblast Expedition which can be found here and the Tundra Expedition which can be found over here. I know some of you are going to ask what the best talents are but since you currently can just not respect in the game, this is going to be entirely up to you. However, I would personally recommend that you go down the bow tree so that it's going to help you kill things easier, and it's useful on just about every single mission, as well as any move speed talents that you can get to find animals faster. 
Once again, these are entirely up to you and your preference, since none have any major impact on your leveling speed, other than the one specific talent in the solo tree, which gives you a 10% XP gain called Lone Wolf. Again, this talent may change in the future, so if you're watching this video a month from now, the talent might do something totally different. What you need to know is that if you do go down that solo tree, though, you are going to be locked into basically playing by yourself with that character. So just keep that in mind as you don't get any solo tree bonuses when playing with friends. And with all that being said, that's going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Game Advisor, and if you want to see more Icarus and other survival game content, please consider subscribing to our channel or even joining our community on the Discord. I'm Game Advisor, and I'll see you guys in the next one.